this dude all oh, was knocked out in the early afternoon. My oh, mind is a mess, I gotta clean that up. He can't hear me because they couldn't hear Watch out, just wake him up. Watch this. Right, bro. I just sleep. <laughs> Hello. Guess it was good. What's up, everybody? PJ with another video, and uh, y'all haven't seen Bruce in a while. I don't think you have, anyways. But here he is, doing what he always does. Anyways, today is gonna be a maintenance type of day for the genesis and i have to change all of the fluids in the car and this is what i have for it i have the red line mt90 that goes in the diff i actually only need one and a half quarts so i have two and uh it's recommended to use two and a half quarts of the mt85 for the transmission so we're going to be doing the diff fluid transmission fluid i also need to go to autozone which i forgot but I need to get more uh, oil for the car because I don't have oil. I need a filter. I have the brake fluid. It's in the garage. But we just going to have a maintenance day today. But let me go ahead and start this thing up. Move it up to the shade and then head to AutoZone once I start draining the oil out of it. I ain't even about to act like the car ain't dirty, bro. Yeah, look at this. Look at how much brake dust is on here. That's nasty. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's nasty. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this thing whenever I'm done with all this. And then get some glamour shots, some pictures, some video, all of that other car. For those of y'all who don't know how simple changing the oil is in a car, all you have to do literally is just jack the car up, Put it on jack stands try to get it as low as possible if you're doing it not on a lift like if you're doing it on your back i would say try to get it as low as possible but you know be comfortable with it and that's to make sure that all the oil can go out of the drain plug which you have to then undo under the car if you don't have a skid plate like i don't then it's a bunch it's a lot easier but if you do have a skid plate you unbolt the skid plate i'm not gonna do that because i don't have it but literally all you do is jack the car up Unbolt the drain plug, unscrew the filter, it should be hand tight, and let all the oil drain out. After that, put the new filter in, tighten everything back up, let the car down, and then put your oil on top. Put the oil back in the engine. in the Audi about to go ahead head to AutoZone close the garage I ain't drove this thing in about a week now literally like everybody was telling me oh PJ you got your new vehicle you gonna end up not driving the Genesis no more you gonna like this a lot better and all that woo de woo but me I mean I like driving my sports car that's just me. I can't wait to get the Miata tuned. That's literally all I'm waiting on is somebody to tune the Miata. And then I'll be driving that. 
it's gonna be a race between the Genesis and the Miata, which one I'm gonna wanna, wanna drive the most because the Miata, I don't know, it's like, that really is like a fun little go-kart type of car. <laughs> and I'm ready to drive that thing as much as I can. But other than that, we about to head to AutoZone, get this oil, and head on back and finish this. So I'm back from AutoZone and now I'm using the Valvoline 5W30 for the Genesis Coupe BK2. Uh, I think you could put that in a BK1 as well. But back from AutoZone, got the STP filter and shout out to TJ for putting me on the Valvoline. TJ Hunt, if you haven't watched him, I suggest you go watch his videos because his videos are A1. But uh, the only difference I really see between this and the Castro that I use is the top literally like i don't know what actually goes on inside the car for that but that's the only difference i see now for me to go and button everything back up and start with the transmission i always wanted to try this to see if it worked uh but if you don't have a funnel you could just get your little oil dipstick hopefully this works and uh put this right up in here and just pour it right on the dipstick and it should <sighs> yeah it's terrible for me anyways Oh, you know what? We're not gonna do that. Scratch that. Look, I can feel it up right now. Look it over here. Piero, do me a favor. I can feel it up right here. Look, look, do me, do me a favor. Do me a favor, toes. Come here, two cute toes. What? Do me a favor, I gotta feed these up. I gotta feed these up right here. Can you even get you some liquid? I'm gonna go crazy. And my grandmama might be the only girl calling me baby. Take a look at me now. Put your hands up. Look in the sky, let me hear you say. Hey, hey. Ooh, I'm good. Alright, so it's the next day because it got kind of dark on me last night and I ain't feel like recording anymore. But this is pretty much how you change the transmission fluid. I let all the fluid out of here last night. I didn't show that on the camera. But this is the drain plug. You literally just unscrew that. I used the 15 sixteenths and that worked on that. The little filler bolt I just took out is a 17 millimeter. And that's what I use to take these out. But now all you do is get you a siphon pump like the one I have here. And put one end in. And there is an easier way to do this, by the way. But this is just how I'm doing it because this is what I have. You can also get you a, a long hose and come in from under the hood and just pour it in. But, I mean, I didn't have a long hose and I didn't pick one up because I didn't think about it but put one in in the tube and then you pretty much just squeeze away and it's going in there and like I said uh, it usually takes I believe it's two and a half two and a half quarts for the transmission to fill up but the differential is one and a half quarts and I know you're probably not going to get all of the fluid out. So all of that fluid may not go back in. But that's just what it takes to fill it. And they do have better pumps than this hand thing that I have, by the way. And now we move on to the rear diff. This guy right here. And if you look under it, you can see there's a drain plug right here for it. And we refill it in the same way we did as the transmission with this one right here it's pretty easy to tell it's on the driver's side of the diff you can't miss it but uh we pretty much use the same exact socket that we use for the transmission it's just the 15 16 that i'm gonna use and it's on the end of a regular ratchet and we can go ahead and get that knocked out but i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this and then let y'all see what it drives like
one thing I forgot to mention about the drain plug is there is like a little magnet on here to let you know like what's been going on, any metal shavings or whatever. Um, I'm actually not sure what this is. It's like gray-ish. At least I thought that's what it was, a magnet for metal shavings. I'm not sure, but on my Mustang, I know for a fact that was what it was. The drain plug had a magnet for metal shavings. This, I'm not too sure, but hopefully I'm not wiping off something that I need. And if I am, then I guess, oh well. But yeah, I always thought this was a magnet for metal shavings. If anybody knows what this is that I'm wiping off, please let me know in the comment section and let me know if it's something I need to worry about. But if not, then oh well. Alright, so first start up since the oil change here move my seat first start up since the transmission fluid change first start up since the diff change diff fluid change all right Ugh. I'm about to go ahead and take it up the street real quick. Make sure there are no crazy sounds in the transmission, no clunking, no sounds in the diff, no anything that's possibly gonna tell me that something is wrong and I did something wrong. So uh, fingers crossed on that and hopefully it drives good. far so good it's rolling it's going into gear I don't think I'm gonna see any drastic changes just because it is just a fluid change but uh hopefully like this helps whenever I go to the track like the actual track at NOLA Motorsports and uh whenever everything's getting hot I'm running it putting it through its paces hopefully everything holds up a little better I didn't get a chance to change my brake fluid like I wanted to, but eh, oh well, I could do that at any time because nothing's really wrong with it, but I just feel like I want to change it. I changed everything else. One and a half quarters back in the deal. Red line seems like you're pretty good, pretty solid. I'm gonna drive it around for a few minutes just to make sure everything's good. And I'll let y'all know what happens. to go ahead and end today's video the car is driving fairly well i would like to say that and uh i'm glad that i finally got these fluids changed because i don't know if they were changed before i got the car i bought the car with 89,000 miles on it so uh yeah if they haven't been changed they needed to be changed and like i said i'm glad i got around to it i don't usually say i'm sorry or stuff like that because i mean to do everything that i do and i'm you know I, I try to live with no regrets or anything but I am sorry if I came off to anybody on the channel as me being uh, kind of like unappreciative for where I am uh, I'm feeling kind of like I don't know how I'm feeling about it but 
I, I just wanted to make that clear that I am sorry if I came off as me feeling bad for that reason or so. But yeah, uh, I know a lot of people on earth uh, don't have the opportunity or couldn't be in the situations that I put myself in or like they don't have the chance to even do some of the things that I do. And me, I try not to come off as arrogant or anything whenever I do things that other people don't necessarily have the chance to do. But I do want to say that I am very appreciative for where I am right now, especially with YouTube. Uh, I know it's not growing as much as I would like it to grow at the moment, but I will have to say that lately I've been thinking about it and you know, I'm, I'm kind of grateful for where I am and what all I've been through and all the hardships I've gone through, all the good times, ups and downs, all of that. I'm grateful for all of it. And now I'm just here for the ride. All I can do is try my hardest and uh, basically take it one step at a time. But I do uh, know that I am changing up a little bit with what I wanted to do with the channel and my life and all of that. I'm just gonna make sure that the plan that I'm doing now is the plan that I stick with. Uh, I have, I've changed my plan like probably a couple times in the past, but now I feel like I'm getting to an age where I just need to stick with it and no matter how long it takes, make sure I just complete it and do one step at a time. But I do want to say I thank you everybody who supports me, everybody who watches the channels, everybody who comments, likes, subscribes, all of that. I appreciate all of y'all. It helps me out a lot. And I don't want to ever be that guy that y'all look at and are like, oh, this guy, uh, he always has a bad attitude towards what happens to him or oh he always thinks he's better than he is or he bites off more than he can chew or just some stuff like that i don't want to be that guy i want to be the guy that you can go up to whenever you're like hey he's just like me in a way he's trying he's doing whatever he can he makes some of the best decisions that he thinks is the best decisions and he's living his life but i don't mean to go on a rant at the end of this video so uh on a higher note, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section and I'll catch y'all in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more.